Hello friends, family. Today is February 22nd, 2016 and I find myself in the southern section of Central Park. Uh, the reason as to why I'm here is to take a look at this exhibit. This clock that is on exhibit here in the southern end of Central Park has been here since uh, September 10. 2015 and it's gonna be up up until today tomorrow morning they'll probably take it down it's a very interesting work of art for it's very different from others that have been installed at this immediate space this immediate plaza of Central Park called the Doris Friedman Plaza it is a clock like the many clocks that you see in urban centers all over the world today it tells the right time but it also uh, does it in a non-conventional way. For example, the face that doesn't usually move is moving counterclockwise and the needle that points to seconds is always staying on the same place. The work is about, I don't know, maybe 20 feet tall? Uh, 15, 20, 15, 20 feet tall. I'm sorry that we cannot get a better view of it because it's nighttime, but as you can see, the base, the pole, is very similar to clocks that you see in other sections of the city. Just this only weird dynamic over here of the uh, face with the numbers moving counterclockwise. And they have a little description here right next to the exhibition that talks a little bit about, well, the organization, first of all, the Public Art Fund, is the organization that makes this exhibit possible and the artist is Alicia Quaid, I think she's from Poland. The work itself is called Against the Run and this little description here that talks about uh, uh, the nature of the exhibit and it reads, nature provides us with a general way to measure time, dividing it into days, lunar months and seasons. Since ancient times, however, we have invented ways of measuring time in smaller units with ever-increasing precision, from the sundial to the hourglass to the atomic clock. As clockmaking and technology advanced during the Renaissance, handsome public clocks became a source of civic pride as well as useful amenity. In today's digital age, they more often provoke a sense of nostalgia for another era. Here we have this work of art with this very familiar visual vocabulary but that takes away and breaks away from the way that we usually would perceive it. That's going to be it for today's short video vlog. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, always log on to 5vguy.com. Have a wonderful morning or afternoon, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye.